Hi there, I'm Haji at The Grey Indian. Welcome to my channel. My channel is all about my grey hair journey. It's been over a year now and also skincare and makeup care tips for over 40s. Um, and uh, if you haven't already, please subscribe. My channel comes out every Sunday. It's usually talking about the grey hair and the makeup. I'm yet to get to my skincare. But um, once you press the notification bell as well, then you'll get the notification about my video having come out. Today I'm going to be talking about this makeup look that I have on my face today, um, starting from scratch. So there'll be certain parts that I will fast forward because it just gets a little bit laborious and a bit too long. Um, but if you want to try it at home, give it a go and then comment below and let me know um, how you did. I'm going to start with my NYX Color Correcting Concealer. I haven't actually used this in a while, but I'm going to give it a go today. And I usually go in between these two shades here. So just a little bit of that peach and then a little bit of the darker shade and just underneath the eyes here and just going to dab it in. I've already gone in with my primer and with my um, under eye oil that I usually put on. And you can see that's already started correcting. You don't want to put too much product on, that is important especially if you've got fine lines like me, otherwise it will just sit in those fine lines and that is what we do not want. Go a little bit extra here. Sometimes you might find in certain areas around your eyes, it might be a little bit darker for me. It's usually just this outer edge area. This is my Tarte concealer. This is a medium sand. Just recently started using Tarte um, on myself. I always felt like it was too thick for my skin. Um, Basically because I'm over 40, I think when you have heavy makeup, it's very prominent. Um, so you've got to take quite natural, but I've been trying different techniques on how to try this on. And for my eyes, this technique is perfect. It's not too much, doesn't sit into the fine lines too much. And um, yeah, and I just go in with my fingers or a damp sponge, either one, whichever one you're happy doing it with. Now that looks like a lot, right? So this is when I get the sponge and just dab over just to take off any excess. Using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. And I use a sponge because I feel like a sponge won't make it look as thick on the skin. My shade that I'm using is N is 2W2, that's Rattan. If you notice, I don't actually really put foundation on my neck. What I do is, is if there's any excess on my sponge, then it's great. It can come down to my neck over here. But um, usually the colour matching is pretty good, so I don't really need to take it down onto my neck. Let me just go in with a little bit more concealer just on these outer edges. Just about here. There we go. And it's going to take a little bit down here. I'm going to leave this bit on here for a little bit longer. Bits. I'm just going to spread out a little bit. This just helps give the cheekbone a little bit more of a highlight. There we are. Right, I'm going to go in with these ends now. I'm going to go in with my the concealer brush that I used. This one here. And just dab it in with that firstly. So can you see what's going on here? You want to basically create the light where there's shade and where you don't want the shade, basically. Any excess that I've got on my brush, I'm just going to take over my eyelid like this. And the rest of it is just going to be dabbed on by my fingers.
now naturally with my Huda, which I absolutely love. I'm just gonna put my beauty blender in there, the damp beauty blender, and just take it underneath my eyes like this. So what I tend to do is I just, now when I'm doing the rest of my makeup, I'm just gonna leave this just dabbed on the edges here, like this because it's where I want the extra light, is where I want um, the shading to disappear. So, there we go. And the rest of it, I'm just gonna take long hair around my nose. And that's it. I'm not taking the powder everywhere. I just don't think I need to. Just dab, dab the beauty blender with any with any excess powder it might have or any product it could just go on the rest of my face like the way the bronzer is doing its job at the moment warming up the skin and contouring my skin at the same time yeah when you have gray hair what can tend to happen is with the bronzer it can hit your whites your grays um and affect the color so i just i don't go all the way up to my hairline I take a little bit extra here and I just basically dab it on with my finger instead. Like this. You can see how it's changed the colour there. <sighs> I feel so clever when I come up with stuff like this. And there we go. Hmm. Usually I don't do my eyebrows. Um, I get them microbladed, so I don't need to worry about them on a daily basis. And I love that the freedom it brings is amazing. I've been doing my eyebrows since the age of 16, um, coloring them in with just normal eyeliner pencils at that time. Um, and then when microblading came about, fantastic. And I'm, it's been over a year now, so I'm due my, doing my eyebrows again. Due to get my eyebrows on again, I should say. Look at the difference. Okay, so now I'm just gonna fluff away these. There we go. These are all matte colors. I would be lying if I pretended that I remembered what each one of these are called. However, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with this shade. And I think I might actually go in with this kind of a green today. So I'm just gonna take one of my angled brushes here and dab it slightly into that green, shake it off, and let's go, let's see how this will look. There's a technique, especially with hooded eyes, a way that you're supposed to put on your eyeshadow. If you haven't seen my video yet, I'm gonna link it. Um, and please check it out, especially if you have hooded eyes. Honestly, it's really informative and really helps with how you should actually be putting on your eyeshadow. Now with a flat brush like this, I'm just going to take that peach shade that I showed you and just dab it on my eyelid. This is kind of like daytime makeup. Um, 
I'm not going anywhere. So I just want to keep it quite subtle. If I wanted this to pop even more, I would have put concealer once again onto my eyelid. Um, but I don't. I'm just using my fingers to basically blend out and smooth out any harsh lines that there might be. And that's it. I think that's perfect the way that I want it to look now. It's going to take some colour, a bright white kind of colour. It's also from the MAC palette. I'll, I'm going to look up all the colours and link them below for you, what I've used today. There we go. I'm going to go into that green and just take it underneath my eye. So just near the lash, on the lash line and just coming slightly below. And I think I might just leave it on the outside today. I'm not going to take it all the way across. I think that kind of helps with opening up the eye. And um, looks more daytime. I'm going to go with my blusher and then my lipstick and then after that i'm going to go in with the eyelashes because they're kind of special the eyelashes that i've got so i want to save them until the, the end blush i'm going to go in with is my inglot palette here so they are colors and uh, shades that i just collected on my own decided which ones i wanted so i'm going to go with this lovely pink over here and take it over my cheeks in nice circular motions if you watch my bronzing video, you'll see this blusher technique that I have for women over 40 and very possibly over 35 too. I'll link that one above as well. Nice healthy colour. The lip liner I'm going to go in with is Velvet Touch by Primark, of course. Love Primark. There we go. Right, so now for the lashes, the game changer makes all the difference. So I was sent these lashes by Glamnetic. Um, I'm not sure if you've heard of them, but Glamnetic making them, well, they're magnetic basically. So the trick and with Glamnetic is, is they have this eyeliner which works like a magnetic. Right, so the lashes I'm going to go in with are Vixen. I don't know if you can see it. There we go. And um, what we do is on here, there's little magnetic tags or strips that I can see on there. Basically, will attach themselves to this liner that I'm wearing. So let's see how this goes. These are quite pretty, aren't they? Nice and subtle. I have a secret to share. Before I put these ones on, I actually put the the viral ones on. They're too dramatic for the kind of look I want to go for today. So. Oh yeah, and I way, way more prefer these. Right, so now I'm just going to go in with mascara and my bottom lashes quickly. And there we go. Right, so as you can see, I had done my hair up after that uh, makeup video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. If there's any questions you have, 
around the makeup or anything like that please just put it in the comments below um, my video comes out every Sundays I hit the notification bell and that way you will get a notification every Sunday for when the video does come out um, and until then just remember gray is okay catch you next week bye